I mean, it's a functional layout. I love how low this is. Like, this is properly my height now. And if this goes here, it's not. So put that down there, like how you have it now. I hate it. I, I don't. Hate it. Oh, you're but I hate it like this. And like, it's well, it can walking. be it can be propped up a tiny bit if it's on a stand. But then there's gonna be space at the bottom. And you know. you wouldn't do something like wouldn't do something like this. No, <laughs> I I want to kind of stick with symmetry. No, it doesn't have a reset. That's perfect. I know. Especially if you use mine as well and you have one on each side. Baby dumbo, wings. dumbo ears. Or dumbo baby wings. What do you guys think? Should you do this? But then I would have to get a new one. I have to buy a new one. We already have two. I think it should be like a just a And then I would have to buy another one. what that portable layout is, none of it's good. That looks horrible. Like, being able to see underneath. Yeah, plus the cable also a little bit messy. I had a virtual work party, so we all opened hot chocolate and stuff. So it's been a while. It's been a bit of a slow week for me. It's been so incredibly busy with work, so I haven't really had much time to like deal with this stuff, I guess. But Colin and I could not, every single year, we cannot wait for Christmas. We are children. We open up all of our presents weeks in advance because we just, they just end up sitting around. We're like, they're there. We might as well just open them. So this is one thing that was on my wish list that he let me open. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know it was 3D printed. I thought it was actual wood. I wanted to clearly match what I already had, but it's 3D printed. Uh, it's all right, nothing special. I think my phone is a little bit too chunky with the case for it to properly sit in it, but it's fine. I still find myself propping my phone up like here, so this is gonna take some time for me to get used to because I've never really had one before. Then I also picked these up on Amazon. I was gonna get another set that were way cheaper um, because there was a coupon involved, but then I remembered that Gobi, I have everything connected to Gobi. So really excited we wanted one of these because of the Christmas tree we want. Let me show you. Here's our dinky little Christmas tree. It's actually my mom's but she let us borrow it for the year since everybody already moved out. But we wanted something to plug into. I haven't set it up yet but uh, once we lay in bed we kind of don't want to get up and turn this off so it's gonna be kind of nice to have this turn off by itself with the Gobi light. Very exciting. Then the last thing that I got on Amazon. Someone commented on one of my previous videos that I should vinyl wrap that guy, which is a brilliant idea because this drawer actually comes with the drawers in this 
wood shade and I wanted it but at the time it was completely sold out and I was super bummed out and I don't know why I've never thought to just vinyl wrap it because I've done that in the past with my Alex drawers so thank you so much to the person that suggested that and reminded me you know what it doesn't quite match this however the monitor stand doesn't quite match this so I think this from afar I don't really have a light source right now but from afar these look pretty dang close so I think I'm gonna be able to get away with it I'm super excited so we're gonna do that soon Soon, I just kind of want to settle in. I just got back in from going to the pharmacy, so I want to chill and then I will come back to this. I'll see you guys soon. Unfortunately, my Gobi lights fell down last night. It woke me up and scared the absolute crap out of me. Some one is there, that one's still connected to power. And then I've got some other ones strewn about. So I'm gonna take this as a sign to finally take them down. However, not this video, I'm a little bit lazy. Plus I don't really know what to do with them yet. And I think I also wanna move this, but then if I take all of this down, then that just means that I don't have anything here and it's gonna be a bit too barren for me. So if you have any suggestions for this corner, please let me know. I love the way that I have my controllers up. I kind of like this section, but this one I've never really been happy with. Speaking of which, I want to show you guys this new controller that I got from Hex Gaming. This is something that I customized myself. I chose all of the accents and the colorways, and Hex Gaming also has this really cool adapter to add even more hotkeys to your controller. This is my first PS5 controller. It is so beautiful. I feel like it looks so sleek. They also have pre-mades, but you can also customize Xbox controllers, PS4, PS5 controllers. Unfortunately, no Nintendo Switch controllers, but this works on my computer just fine. I was playing Stardew with it and it's so beautiful. It matches my setup perfectly. So came with these little charging stand extensions. Two of them, which is really cool. I obviously don't have one of these, but I'm gonna look into it now that we have, I think Colin has two controllers also from Hex Gaming and now I have one, so this could come in handy. I've bought loved ones these in the past. I think they make such a wicked gift. They were just on sale, unfortunately, for Black Friday and now this is retail price, but I highly recommend you looking into this just because you can literally do anything to it. You can change and customize every single thing. They've got patterns or you can just do chrome and clear. I was really contemplating doing a clear one. It just gives me like old school Game Boy vibes, but I love everything white. I had like four tabs open with different options and I could not decide, but ultimately I'm so happy I went with this one because just look at it. Like the smooth buttons, the chrome, gorgeous. So I do want this one to stay on display because like, come on, she's beautiful. This one I actually made a couple years ago from Hex gaming's i think it's their sister company extreme rate i assembled this myself it took forever and i was terrified so the fact that you know two years later hex gaming reached out to give me my own is just beautiful so thank you so much to hex gaming i believe i have a coupon for you guys as well so you can check them out in the description and have fun customizing your own because this was a ton of fun for me Something else I want to shout out is this Mackinite. I think that's how you pronounce it, Mackinite. KT68 from Epo Maker. So I believe this is the actual brand, but Epo Maker sells them. I actually asked for the white and blue one. I'll put a picture on the screen and they sent me the black one, which is still really cool because it fits my theme for the most part. However, as you can see, I don't have anything black. <laughs> so I think the white one would have definitely suited my setup better, but that's fine. So it's got this toggle here that I can't figure out just yet what it does. 
and this looks like it would be a real screen, but it's not. I'm gonna show you. So when you plug it in, so the bottom of the screen lights up, so caps is on, you know? So this will tell you if you're charging, and I believe if you're in Bluetooth mode, then there will be a little light at the bottom too. Got a volume knob here that I love. Clearly, I love volume knobs. This is my main knob, and then if I press any of them, then it'll mute it. I don't know if this one does it too. Actually, my computer's not even working. Like, I can't tell this is plugged in and put onto wired mode, but my computer sounds stuck. Yeah, this is typing, but I can't actually like do anything because I use a certain skin that gives me the look of a MacBook, but whenever it disappears from the top, it means that it crashed, and so I can't, I can't do anything. I can't even like control all delete to get to task manager to like turn off my computer. So this is an issue. <laughs> this is not the keyboard's fault at all. I will show you, I can use the keyboard. So this is working fine, but my actual computer interface is uh, broken. So give me a sec. <sighs> it looks like there's nothing left for me to do. Oh, okay. I didn't have to force close it, that's kind of nice. I'm gonna put the specifications on the screen. It does come with stock switches. I believe this is hot swappable. Let's do a little type test. I'm gonna pull you in and show you what the toggle does to my computer, weirdly enough. So when I press it, it like minimizes my windows. I don't know what the purpose of that is. If this is something that you would use, then great. But for me, I'm gonna see if I can try and map this to something different to maybe not do this because I could just tell if I'm in the middle of something and I hit it by accident, you know? So this only has two modes, wireless and cable, and of course connected by, by type C like almost everything else. Thank you Epo Maker for sending this over. I believe I also have the coupon for this. I think it's about 5%, but it'll be linked in the description as well. Cool, thanks. Has anyone else been loving the new WoW expansion? I personally love prettier looking games. I got kind of tired of the same DLCs for WoW, just being like super dark and I don't know, the kind of art style with the monsters and everything and the green neon slime. So this is really refreshing and I'm having so much fun. It's super chill. I love the look of the dragon. I love the world. So I'm just enjoying myself. have another chair. I know, I get a lot. I feel like companies are really stepping their game up with ergonomics, with aesthetics. First of all, thank you so much Herman Miller for sending this to me. This is their latest collab with Logitech. It's called the Vantum. So I chose the white one, but I'm pretty sure this still has white, black, and maybe like a touch of red. So let's open it up. I am terrified of these things. I don't even know if I can actually open it. So you know what, let's just get some scissors. I now have a mini desk. It is my currently my hoarding setup, but I would like to make it an actual functional setup. That's where this is gonna live for now. So I've seen them already. Colin literally has one. He has the same one. It is like already kind of assembled. You literally just have to put the base together with the top, so good for me because I don't follow instructions very well and everything takes much longer for me. <laughs> Let me see if I can bring you in a little bit. Here is everything that comes in the box, super simplified. Here is the headrest, it's nice that they separately package in this way. So this is meant to be like an ergonomic gaming office chair all in one, hence the collaborators. I'm assuming I just literally put it on top, right? And that's it, that's all it took. Literally a matter of seconds. This is by far the easiest chair I've ever assembled in my life, so that works for me. So let me quickly show you guys the back.
Thank you.